Hello everyone. Today I just wanted to make a quick video showing how you can use a second display with your Surface Pro 2 and particularly the iMac 27 inch. Now you can use any external display with this device. As you know it has a built-in mini display port. Um, for, for the iMac it also has a mini display port so what I needed was simply a mini display port to mini display port cable. Uh, these come in many varieties. You can get them um, mini display port, HDMI, um, VGA cable, DVI. Uh, there's many different combinations and they're fairly cheap. I got this off eBay for $8 um, and, and it supports both audio and video. So let's go ahead and see how this works. I already, I already have it plugged into the back of the iMac, so all I have to do is plug it right into the side of the Surface Pro. And it automatically detects it on the iMac. Okay. Now, when you first plug it in, it will be set to mirror the display. So anything you do on this display, it will simply mimic it on that display. Uh, I don't find that very useful. To change that, swipe in from the side, select Devices, go to Project, and it gives you different options here on how you can use the second display. PC screen only, only duplicate, which is what it will be set to automatically, extend, or the second screen only, which means you'll black out this screen. I like to extend it so I can run multiple applications. So that's what it's set on. So I can just drag the mouse straight up onto my iMac screen. And let's see here. To set up the second screen also, um, let's say if you have a screen to the right or the left, if, if you're wondering how you set that up, if you go down to the start menu, right click, go to control panel, and then to adjust screen resolution, you, you can select how the displays are oriented. So if I drag display 2, which is the iMac display, to the right, then it knows to, uh, when I drag the, the, the cursor to the right, it will go to the display. I have it set just like it is set up so that the iMac is above so when I drag the cursor up it goes into the screen. So you can set that up based on your particular setup. And um, it automatically detects the resolution for the second screen. Um, the, I mean it does a wonderful job. Let me go ahead and open up an application. And another cool thing is that if you click the start menu on either screen, for instance, if I click the start menu down here, I get the um, the the start screen. But if I go to the, the the second screen, I click it, I also get the start screen, and it's modified for the larger display. Um, so I thought that was pretty pretty cool. So. Let's go back down to the surface display and let's see here. Let's open up Microsoft Word. Okay, put it right there for some reason. Let's open up a blank document. And you can work with Microsoft Word and full screen. You know, I'm Using my Type Cover 2. Oh, I'm sorry, kind of, kind of losing focus there. Um, you can still multitask. Uh, it still supports the, um, you know, the side by side view, and you can still go down to the Surface Pro, and you can run whatever. You know, if I run ESPN. I got ESPN down there, have Microsoft Word up there. Um, so yeah, this is very nice, you know.
because when, when I'm at home, you know, if I'm writing papers, I don't want to be doing it on a, on a, you know, a, a 10, 11 inch display. So, you know, so, so there you have it. Um, like I said, these cables are very cheap for the amount of functionality you get out of them. Um, and that's about it. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll be happy to answer. And thanks for watching and check out my other videos. Thanks.